big story today, Simone Biles. She may be the greatest gymnast of all time, but that does not make her immune to the pressure that comes with that title. Olympics. Matt Barnes caught up with the coach of another former U.S. star gymnast, Gabby Douglas, about what that pressure is like. Simone Biles is the face of these Olympic Games due to her incredible talent and charisma, but now she may also be the face of mental health awareness after stepping back from the team and all-around competition to focus on herself. Every other sport is like, let's see what we can do, right? This is this sport is, you need to be as perfect as possible, you know. So there's immense pressure uh, in that whole you know, that whole concept. Christian Gallardo has been around the sport of gymnastics for decades. He served as a coach for two-time Olympic gymnast Gabby Douglas and was there in Rio when Simone Biles shined on the big stage. But the pressure became too much in Tokyo. I just felt, you know, just heartbroken because she's she's an amazing athlete i mean she really is you know possibly the greatest of all time like she's <laughs> it's, it's it's she is it's, i don't know if we'll ever see another athlete like her and just to to see her have to go through that like it just it stinks the pressure simone feels is similar to what gabby went through five years ago when the world expected the star of the 2012 games to excel again in 2016. she was just trying to make the olympic team and even that pressure alone was insane um I mean, obviously with any sport and any, you know, public face, there's namesayers and, you know, doubters and, you know, you, they feel that, you know, it's like get off social media and, <laughs> you know, just focus on on your path, your journey, because it's, it's about you. Christian raves about the way Simone's teammates handled the situation, winning a silver medal without their leader. And if this is the end of Simone's Olympic career, he says her legacy in the sport is already cemented. Honestly, no matter how this Olympic ended, I mean, she could have just showed up and waved her hand. I mean, I don't think there's anybody who could even question the level of skill, talent that athlete has. I mean, she's, she's, she's amazing. In Tokyo, I'm Matt Barnes. The U.S. men's basketball team easily beat Iran in its second Group A game, 120-66. to This is after they lost to France just a few days ago. Next team, USA, will compete its complete as Group A play against the Czech Republic on Saturday. A win over the Czech Republic would send the team USA through the eight-team knockout stage of the tournament. Should I see what was on that cart behind your head? All right, and it was a rough start for U.S. swimmer Katie Ledecky. For the first time in her Olympic career, she did not finish in the top two for the 200 meter, meter freestyle. She didn't even medal. She came in fifth. But just over an hour later, she dove right back in, dominating the 1500 meter freestyle. She secured her sixth career gold medal. Team USA's Erica Sullivan came in second. And in the women's 200 meter individual medley, it's the first time the U.S. has won two medals in that race. Alex, uh, Alex Walsh took the silver, and Kate Douglas was right behind for bronze. Marilena Belarus has a recap now from Tokyo. Team USA is taking home silver and bronze in the women's 200 meter individual medley with UVA teammates Alex Walsh and Kate Douglas on the podium. This is the first time the U.S. has won two medals in this race, which features 50 meters of each stroke. Alex Walsh finished just behind Japan's Yui Ohashi to take the silver, and Kate Douglas was right behind for bronze. Douglas is a Richmond native and UVA swimmer. Walsh, her teammate at UVA, is from Nashville. They picked up the second and third medals for the UVA swim program. Their teammate, Emma White, and picked up the silver in the 400 meter IM. Richmond's Townley Haas anchored the 4x200 meter freestyle relay for the men, but unfortunately they finished in fourth just off the podium. In Tokyo, I'm Maria Elena Baloris. And USA gets silver mm. in men's synchronized mm. diving because we can't use video. We have another reenactment to show you okay. today. I so. don't know. Okay, so Andrew, Kobe Bianco, and yes. Michael Hickson jumped off the diving board. So, so hold they on. did. Okay, and then six times. Oh gosh, they were so much better though at being synchronized. Whew. Spun six and times. And landed in the water at the same and time. And then they landed in the water at the same time. Okay. Silver. Silver. They, they, that was impressive. Yeah, very impressive. That, our inter Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <clears throat> Show them exactly, because you might not have gotten it. So here, here they were. Just pay close attention. <clears throat> Eric, why are you laughing? Oh, God. They landed on the back. Man, they practice and practice. We just like us. We are so good. <laughs> Whew.
Well, the United States Olympic medal league grows this morning. The U.S. racked up a total of 31 medals in the first five days of competition. China is in second with 27 total medals, followed by Japan with 22. Japan has taken the lead for the number of gold medals with 13. China has 12. The U.S. has 11. You weren't that impressed, Jim. That's your guys' thing. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not involved in that one. So, oh, I mean, you really are right. selling it, though. Tomorrow. tomorrow you will be. <laughs> no. Tomorrow, tomorrow you'll not. be doing it alone. <laughs> no, I will not See do that. See how you tomorrow. like doing super nice swimming okay, alone. Okay, then you get no peanut M&M's. <laughs> okay, so that'll help my waistline. that's how it's going to be then. All right, you. let's, uh, you get no show. all right, never mind. Have a good day. <laughs> we'll see you Corporate, tomorrow. Corporate, welcome.